How many cars do I have this year, 2009? How the hell do I know? I don't stay up awake late in bed at night thinking about it. You count them. I don't have the time. There's lots, and there's lots more to come. Well, first of all, I still have this one, still buried with 250 air conditioners to get out of the way, and no place to put them. I'm 1935 Mercedes-Benz, and a 97 Lincoln Continental, a slightly more beautiful 82 Toyota Cressida, the 87 Turbo 2 intercooled 5-speed Dodge Turbo Wagon, sweet, the Buick Halfmaster, the abused but never unloved 85, you know, Oldsmobile, Moldsmobile, a 96 Z24 2.4 standard 5-speed Cavalier, well that's actually Rick's, the four-wheel drive floppy cock caravan, 1990 Lumina 3.1, 94 Buick Regal, loaded 3.8, Eagle Talon, 89 Grand Caravan, 94 Cavalier 2.2 Auto, world's most fuel efficient van, diesel, Jetta powered, 5 speed, turbo, 1990, Rick's 96 Golf with busted reverse gear, his fault, 95 Nissan 200, Sax with fully replaced fart can, 3.1 Eurosport, 1990 Celebrity Wagon, still working great. 90 Honda Civic Automatic. Garrett's POS 1990 Tempo. 87 Dakota 3.9. 1984 Men in Black Carbureted 302. Ford Crown Victoria. 1988 Chevy Silverado Loaded Pickup Truck 305. Knock Knock. Pretty soft, you know. 1986 Chevy Ac, 305, working perfect, nothing wrong. 96 7.3 International Turbo Diesel Bus. My 1974 580 KSP tractor with cab that I removed because I didn't like how hot it was in there and all the vibration noises it made. Half of a 1988 Pontiac 6000, the half car. 1992 uh, Aerostar. 3 liter. Redneck Rickham's 1986 2.9 Ranger. Four wheel drive but he still hasn't got the little plastic parts for that hub to fix the four wheel drive so if you want to send him the right parts then we can have it fixed cheap. World famous 1990 Cavalier Redneck Roller Coaster. 1979 Chev 427 Dump Truck. 1975 New Yorker 400. 1993 Pontiac Grand P 3.1. Ah, and most people's favorites, the 1991 Ford F-250 4x4 diesel non-turbo 7.3 International. a few more cars. And a 1977 Canadian made Dodge full-size tradesman's van with a four-speed standard 225 slant 6 single barrel. Couldn't make it. The tour continues. A 92 3.8 transport Pontiac van. 1990 Buick 3.3, what is those things, Centuries? 88 LeBaron 2.5 convertible. The unkillable, still running great, 96 Saturn from Jamie from Ottawa. And the 1993 Third Cell Toyota 
We couldn't kill it, so we drove it into lake high speed and hydro locked it. Wait for the video. <laughs> They're soon both to die. Come on, Jen, get her done. 1990 Subaru Legacy wagon, working perfect. Now we're getting to the cars, which we didn't have time to even get out this year. We've got so many fresh, free cars. What a life. Two three liter Plymouth Voyager. 1990 3.8 Turd Bird. Ford. 1990 or 91 uh, Super, I mean uh, Toyota GTS. 1990 Ford El Toromino convertible. 90 Turbo Volvo 760. 91 Suzuki, not so swift. 91 or something like this, Toyota Crapola. 92 Nissan Stanza. 90 or 91 Camry, V6, 5 speed, sweet and fast. A perfect 1991 Corolla. Well, now we gotta head home to find the rest. And you may find this hard to believe. The only car that doesn't run perfect and work on my farm is that 1993 turd cell we're going to crush. And we only, the only reason it doesn't run is because we killed it on purpose. <laughs> Wonderful. And now my last two vehicles. 96 Chrysler Caravan loaded. Runs great. Needs a little bit of work. Anybody want to buy it for 500 bucks? And my 2002 Caravan I got at the auction last year for $1,600. Loaded, nothing wrong, no work for safety or emissions test, been driving it since November and not a single thing gone wrong, just an oil change. Perfect. Well that's all folks, you add them up. I don't know how many I have.